About three years ago, when the Amazon DSP program first came out, we did a video that warned about some of the potential issues that owners could face if they invested in the business. I'm going to post a link above and at the end of the video if you have not seen it yet. But the question is, how accurate were we with our concerns that we had about Amazon? And have people actually been earning the millions of dollars that was suggested that they could with this low investment Amazon DSP opportunity. So if you follow the channel, you know that we do a lot of reality check videos, if you will, on franchise and business opportunities that outline potential negatives. And inexperienced entrepreneurs, you often will see them in the comments, they will take offense, suggesting that we are just being negative, which we're actually not. We're neither negative nor positive when we are providing facts. To people. Now, there are negatives and positives to every single opportunity. You need to be aware of both. So, Amazon covers the positives pretty well of the DSP Opportunity Delivery Service Partner Program on their website. You're basically going to be delivering packages for Amazon. So, the good low investment at around $10,000 with the potential for revenue over $4 million a year. There's profit, pure profit, that's money in your pocket, up to $300,000 potential, and you don't even need to have experience. Now, I have to admit, that is a very good return based on the investment amount. I work in the franchise world with hundreds of franchise businesses, and that low of an investment with those potential returns is pretty much unheard of. Even many of the big name food franchises that have investments over a million dollars don't have a net profit of $300,000 or a gross revenue of 4.5 million. In fact, an average McDonald's location, it's going to cost you almost $2 million to open, even more in some cases, has a revenue average revenue of only $3.4 million. Now check out Chick-fil-A last year, $6.1 million a year average per location. That's a lot of money. They're at the top for earnings per location. Now Chick-fil-A, that's another company that people don't know you can start with as little as $10,000, but there is a catch. I'll post a link. We did a video on that a couple of years back. I'll post it at the end of this video and above. So it sounds great. 10 grand down, 4 million a year potential. But as we scroll down the page on Amazon, we see that you're not going to be sunning on the beach in your yacht just yet, as you are going to be directly responsible for recruitment, hiring, and coaching a team of 40 to 100 high-performing hourly employees and managing a fleet of 20 to 40 vans on average. You're also going to be obliged to be open 361 days a year. Have you ever been in charge of hiring and managing people, especially people in a high stress environment like this, that's always going to have high turnover and attrition? Now think about managing 100 employees and 50 trucks, especially trucks that apparently still often smell like urine. So to be clear, some owners are happy with their business and their decision. They enjoy the fast paced environment. They appreciate the opportunity that Amazon gave them. We've spoken to some people and you can see the comments on our original video down below. They're happy and they're making the money. But for many owners, they are facing exactly the problems that we pointed out back in 2018. Now, one of the biggest issues that we pointed out is that having Amazon as your sole and only contract, your only customer, puts you at enormous risk. Amazon can and absolutely has in many, many instances just taken roots away from people, leaving them in massive debt. Now, a recent Vice piece interviewed several DSP owners who were given two weeks notice despite having delivered 3 million packages the year before and having a very clean service record. Vice goes on to say, Jim is now facing bankruptcy. Jim is a DSP owner, previous an ex-DSP owner, a destroyed credit score because he can't make payments and losing his house. Three other owners from multiple states are saying, Amazon's delivery service partner program had depleted their life savings during the pandemic and thrown them into tens or in some cases, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of debt. Now there's currently a $15 million lawsuit pending that claims Portland owners were losing money 
and employees trying to satisfy Amazon and their constant changes. The lawsuit alleged that Amazon controlled nearly every aspect of two Portland delivery companies' businesses. And this is a common theme that we hear over and over again, that this is almost like an employee situation rather than a business ownership. Now, keep in mind, just because you close your company, you are still on the hook for debts in this Amazon situation. The interviewee on Vice noted almost $24,000 was still owed on workers' comp, leases on vans, which you are responsible for, $3,200 a month for parking spots that you pay for and you're in a lease for, and many, many more expenses. Now, Amazon might be able to walk away with two weeks notice, but you're not going to be able to. And this has resulted in financial disaster for many owners. For example, 62-year-old African-American veteran who was forced to exit the DSP program in 2021 after only a year in business stated it was virtually impossible for her to make money. The process, as she states, bleeds you dry. Now, after losing money in the business, Angela discovered she still owed over $64,000 in damages on 20 of the company trucks. Now, let me ask you this. Would you be comfortable entrusting complete strangers to drive trucks that you are responsible for. That was another issue that we covered in the original video. How long until a driver hurts, or worse, a pedestrian, and it didn't take long for that to happen, and it happened on many occasions. So this is a consistent story we hear over and over again. There are multiple people just in this one piece that are complaining we've heard it here at Franchise City. We don't know exactly how many, and the question that you might ask is, this is a huge story. Why don't you hear people complaining about this on front page news? Well, the reason is Amazon is quite thorough in making sure that all owners who leave the DSP program sign an NDA. That's a non-disclosure document. They'll actually pay you money to do it. So it's a huge incentive, particularly if you're under financial strain, to, pay, to get this money in your pocket and just sign the NDA. Now, the NDA means you can't say anything bad about your business or talk about it in any way to anyone, no matter how bad your experience was or Amazon is going to sue you for damages. And you certainly don't want to get sued by Amazon. So knowing all these things, knowing that many people actually did suffer from the problems that we stated over three years ago, is it a good opportunity. Well, to be frank, it can be. And there are happy owners out there who did manage to make it work. But there are also many owners and we'll probably know, never know how many, because they all signed this gag order, have faced financial disaster because they took on all of this risk, not being aware of it, simply for Amazon's own profit. Now, our original Amazon DSP review from 2018, I'll put that link above. You can own a steak and shake restaurant. A lot of people don't know this for only $10,000. They guarantee you $100,000. What's the catch there? I'll post that link down below. And Chick-fil-A franchise, that's also only $10,000. What's the catch with that? I'll put the link right here. Thanks very much for watching.